Don't want sports talk. Worldwide. With some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, what's going down in the junior welterweight division this weekend, April 15th, right? And that's going to be WBA junior welterweight champion Ricky Burns versus IBF junior welterweight champion Julius Ndungo, right? Now, this is going to be a good fight. It's going to probably fly under the radar everywhere except for you go Great Britain. Check it out. There's a little couple of little storylines that are very good in this. Now, Ricky Burns... Uh, you know, he got, got won that uh, vacant title and he's got the title back. He's a three time uh, champion, the only Scott in the history to do so. Three time division world champion, so you got to give him his love for that. He's had 47 fights, been in the game 16 years, very decorated. He lost to Terrence Crawford, who we all know was the best guy in this division. But Ricky Burns wants to win this fight and try to get a rematch against Terrence Crawford, which is good to hear him say that at least, right? Julius Ndungo, you know, has been fighting in Africa most of the time from Namibian uh, descent, you know, and he fights in Africa all the time. But his claim to fame now is defeating Edward Troyanowski in Russia. Undefeated Edward Troyanowski was 25 and 0, was riding about a 12 to 15 uh, no uh, knockout streak, about knockout streak. He was really hot. He was about to be anointed as one of the main guys in the division. Uh... Your boy Ndungo went over to Russia and knocked him out in round one. Big fight. So before that, there's nobody on his resume. So it's a Cinderella story. So both of these guys, you know, you see where the opportunity lies, right? And Eddie Hearn, like I said, Eddie Hearn thinks the winner of this, or at least his guy, which is Ricky Burns, will try to fight Terrence Crawford. That's always good news. Terrence Crawford needs opponents. Need opponents to do something to get to him. Good. I don't have anything against that. I think that uh, Ricky Burns' mindset is real good right now because he wanted the fight. He wanted to unify. And he acknowledges that there were easier fights. There were other things he could do. But this here is a huge risk. That's what he says. Huge risk. But he is willing to take it uh, to get to where he's trying to go with the Terrence Crawford thing. And that's a good thing. You got unification. That's what he wanted to do. That's what you want to hear these uh, these guys say. And Dungo, like I said, is a Cinderella story. And I'm pretty sure his mindset is if I can beat Troy and Troynowski, this guy is definitely not better than him. So I'm going to go with Scotland and handle that business just like I went to Russia and handled that business. So I'm pretty sure he's on a high. So let's see what happens. The thing is, guys, it is going down on April the 15th. Another little good fight. Every time somebody says to y'all unification, then there's the significance right there because you got two belts on the line and the winner is probably looking to get with Terrence Crawford. Pretty much don't get no better than that on a pretty mild weekend. You know what I mean? So it's going down in boxing, junior welterweight division. All right, y'all. Don't miss sports talk worldwide. And I'm up out of here.